Konnichiwa. This is the Shogunstein who loves the darkness but hates nature. And this is a look at the basic setup for the new The Goonies Never Say Die game from Prospero Hall and Funko. A game for two to five players, ages 12 plus. It is a one versus all scenario-based game. There are nine scenarios, and one person is going to play as the uh, Goondock Master, the GM, and then the other players will uh, be playing the uh, the Goonies. And we want to thank Funko and Prospero Hall for sending the Shogunstein channel a copy of the game. So in the interest of full disclosure, Funko did send us a copy of the game. Now, this is a game based on the classic 80s movie, The Goonies, which I remember seeing in the theater as a kid, probably somewhere in Levittown on Long Island. And this is a game based on The Goonies, and there are nine scenarios. So the setup for each scenario is going to be different, but there are some basic things that are going to be the same for the setup. So let me just show you what the basic setup is and keep in mind that there is going to be a additional setup and additional things to do based on each scenario. So this is like a campaign game where you're going to be doing nine campaigns. And then we'll see what happens next with the game after the nine scenarios. Who knows if there'll be an expansion or not. Certainly there are also additional characters they can bring in and more scenarios but let's take a look at what we have to do in the basic setup so again you're going to set the board where there is the uh you can clearly see where the gm is going to set up now again depending on your table which way you're going to uh, orient the board but there's a, a marker here for where the gm is going to be and they're going to have this uh sort of curtain here to this sort of uh shield this curtain that they're going to be behind, and they're going to set up. They're going to have their GM cards. They're going to have the GM tokens based on the number of players. So we're going to set up the board here, and then we're going to have our dice. We're over here now. So you got uh, three types of dice. You got the uh, six-sided die, the D6, the D12, and the D8. So you got three types of dice. We're over here now. And then there are a lot of tokens to set up. This game does have a lot of tokens, very thematic. Those of you who are familiar with the Goonies movie, you're going to get a lot of these references. So we have our foes. And again, uh, that's going to depend on each scenario. They give you some standees for the foes. We got not money because these were wishes. If you remember the wishing well. So we have our wishes, our currency. And you'll see President Martin Sheen is on each of the uh, coins. I think that's before we got pushed out of the building uh, by Jack Nicholson. We have our uh, water slide, our uh, tokens for the entrance and the exit of the, the water slide. We have flood and, and stun tokens. We have, with the, the, the question mark, these unexplored uh, tokens. We have our pit token. I'm sorry, these are rubble tokens. That's the pit token. Here again are going to be the, the, the goondock uh, tokens, the GM tokens. We got pile of bones. These are going to be used. These are going to be the passage tokens. That's going to be big for setting up the, uh, the board for each of the different scenarios. And then we have our pirate stash. We have our damage tokens. We have our starting room token. And then this token here is going to be uh, special to um, data. So in this scenario here, at least for the uh, model setup, I have it set up where data is going to be playing. And uh, so he requires that you use this token. And let's see what else we have to do in the basic setup. So again, we have all our tokens. We have our dice. They put themselves out there. What else do we got to do? Well, we need to set up our hourglass. And there's our hourglass. There's our sand tokens. So 
So we have our hourglass right over here. Now, next we have our teen cards. And the teen cards are from some of the supporting players in the movie who are not in the game yet. But hopefully if they expand this game, we're going to get some of these great characters in future games and scenario. So, of course, we have uh, Steph who uh, is babysitting without getting paid here. We got Andy, uh, Kerry Green's character. And then we got Brand, who's going to punch you, and then your clothes are going to go out of style. But that's what happened because, we know, Brand ended up becoming uh, uh, the uh, Cable. Brand looks a lot like Cable, and uh, he also looks a lot like uh, the Thermos guy from the Avengers with the, 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 the stones. Also looks like the guy from that uh, the, the movie where he was in the DEA and he took on the cartels with uh, the Jim's wife, with the, the quiet. So uh, I'm a little confused about Brand. I don't know if he's the older brother or if he's uh, Thermos there from the, the Avengers. Uh, very confusing. So these are the teen cards. You're going to set them up here. And again, we hope to see them in, uh, you know, hopefully there'll be an expansion to this game and hopefully we'll see these characters in the future. What else do we have to do? Well, the uh, GM, again, they're going to be behind the, uh, the board here. And generally they want, they suggest in the rule book that whoever's the uh, biggest gamer in the group or the most experienced gamer take the role of the, the, the GM. So especially since this game is going to be in uh, Target and with this IP, I bet a lot of people who maybe are not Modern board gamers might be attracted to this. So you could have people that just like the, the Goonies movie and aren't necessarily gamers. So they're suggesting that uh, if that's the case, get the person with the most uh, gaming experience to be the, the GM. At least that's what they're suggesting here. Now each player is going to pick a character. Now, if you're going to be doing a two-player game, now one person's always going to be the GM. So if you're going to do a two-player game, then the second player is going to have to take two of the Goonies characters. But in this case, we have it set up for three players, which is one GM and then two players. Now, when you set up the uh, players, they're going to get their minifigure. So there's Data, there's Mouth. They're going to get that minifigure. They're going to get their character card, sort of reference card. And see, it tells you how many Martin Sheens they're going to get. So, is he Martin Sheen or is he uh, the uncle of Spider-Man from the bad Spider-Man movie? Confused. So, he gets uh, tree wishing well uh, tokens to start. And Mouth here gets three also. And uh, don't forget, in this case... Data has his own cards here. So he has some special, like for his inventions. So we have these special data cards. And then we also have special cards here for Mouth. The other two characters, um, Chunk, for instance, he might have his uh, uncle's toupee that he stole at the, the Bar Mitzvah, but he doesn't have uh, any extra cards. Same thing with, uh, I don't know, somehow the guy from... Uh, Mordor, uh, Frodo's friend, is in the game, too. He doesn't get any extra cards, either. Okay, and then the GM, well, the GM is going to have a adventure guide. So the GM is going to be doing some additional setup, and that's going to be based on this book with all the scenarios. So what is the GM going to do? Well, they got to go to pages two and three in the uh, guidebook there. And they're going to uh, read about the first adventure, which is the uh, adventure at the, the Lighthouse Lounge. Now, I hope it's not the lighthouse from uh, the movie with the, the vampire with angst, because that was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Goonies, one of the best movies I ever saw in my life. That lighthouse, one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Now, they're also going to take any of these special cards that are needed to be the GM. And again, there's a GM deck. It's going to depend on the scenario. And they're going to shuffle them, not the uh, truffle shuffle, but a shuffle of the cards. And they are going to be together with, uh, there'll be 24, uh, 24 is Jack Bauer here. There's going to be 24 
basic GM cards to create the, uh, the deck. Now again, they're going to draw an additional card for each player. So in this case, it's two. And then again, you got those GM tokens. Okay? You got your screen, your little shield, your little curtain. And you are going to uh, hide some stuff. Now there's some information on the other side of the uh, shield there. Now you're going to leave any uh, other components in the box and keep it in easy reach. And that's where you're going to keep the foes and the foes cards and, and things like that. Some of the tiles. And that's, again, all going to be determined by the adventure guide. And then what you're going to do is you're going to set up the starting room. So this is going to tell you how to set up the starting room. It's going to be shown in the adventure map. So again, you're going to be using the, the map here. And there are tiles. And then you're going to look for the room on the map. And with the start token, there is our start token. You are going to uh, start placing other tokens and passages as described in the adventure guide for that scenario. Then you're going to place the unexplored tokens, again there's with the question mark, in any of the uh, room connected by the, uh, the passage. Okay, then you're going to take your minifigs and they're going to go in the starting room. And then uh, there'll be some stuff that you got to read out loud to the other players. So that is a basic setup here of the Goonies, Never Say Die. Again, we want to thank Funko for sending us this game. We're looking forward to getting this out to our uh, game afternoon and uh, playing it with uh, some of the people we normally game with. And uh, we'll let you know our initial thoughts after we get this game to the table. In uh, previous things, Funko and Prospero Hall have done great with IP games, whether it be the Bob Ross game, Pan Am, um, Horrified, the Jaws game, Fast and the Furious. So they've been doing a really good job with these IP games, and I'm looking forward to see how this Goonies game plays. Now that the pandemical is uh, you know, starting to end, or we're starting to see light at the end of the tunnel, we're starting to get gaming again, and uh, you know, we had just before the pandemic had started, we had started a uh, campaign of Clank Legacy. We got two games in, and then we didn't see each other for a year and a half. So now that we're all getting back together, we should be able to get these nine scenarios down. It'll be a lot easier. And uh, again, this game looks like, again, even though it can be for two players and you can play as two of the Goonies, it uh, seems like this is a game that'll work better with more people as it is a cooperative game. And, again, Funko Hall has done a good job with the cooperative games with Horrified and Last Defense. So that's a look at the uh, Goonies. Never say die. I'm going to get out of here. It's time for me to have a uh, baby Ruth and some Rocky Road ice cream. Shogunstein out.